Hello, welcome to Misho. Welcome to Misho. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Yes, very yes. good. Okay, you go now. Daily COVID-19 cases in India increased fivefold over one lakh from 20,000 in just two weeks. The country's daily count crossing the one lakh mark for the first time since the pandemic struck the nation last year. Maharashtra, the worst heat state, alone accounted for more than half of India's total cases. The state even imposed night curfew yesterday and announced we can lock down to break the chain. States like Punjab, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Kerala and Tamil Nadu, etc. have announced several restrictions, including night curfews and restrictions on the movement of people, in order to limit the spread of second wave of coronavirus infection. In a time like this, I traveled to Nordeast last week and here's what I want to share a few things for you all so that it may be of some help for you if you are planning to travel to northeastern states. You will be tested for COVID-19 once you land at Kwati Airport, but if you are not staying in Kwati and will proceed immediately to other states, you will fill a form and you may proceed. If you need the test result there itself, you need to pay rupees 1000 otherwise it's free also if you're traveling to shillong you'll be required to go through covid testing it's important to stay updated with the tech. and one important thing when you're traveling in north is if you're taking a higher taxi uh, that's convenient for you and uh, but the thing is you have to pay extra for that but if you're taking a public transport Particularly if you are taking trains, then you know the timing, but like if you are taking bus or if you are taking uh, local taxi like sumo service or winger service, like uh, it's important to note the timing. Uh, mostly for long distance, uh, those services, it may just start early in the morning or in the evening. Say for example, if you are traveling from Guwahati to Manipur by bus, Buses may leave at 2, 5, 7, like that in the evening. So uh, for long distance, uh, those, like, uh, you need to keep in mind if you are arriving early morning in Guwahati, uh, then the whole day you may be just stuck up uh, <clears throat> because you may not get public transport if you are not hiring your local taxi. So keep in mind, like, uh, the local transport services that are available. And also another thing is that um, looking in the map, you may just see that, oh, that's such a short distance, but like it may take longer than uh, what we usually see in other like places. Say, for example, 100 kilometers may take you four hours, five hours even uh, if the road is bad. If you're traveling in Arunachal, if you're traveling in a hilly terrain, then it may take longer than that as well. So keep in mind uh, how much time it takes or the local taxi timing you keep in mind and accordingly you plan along with it <laughs> yes another important thing don't forget to carry enough cash because uh, in many places uh, even though in uh, district headquarter you may find ATM not working because of the connectivity server is not working or it's too crowded um, it's important to carry enough cash with you so if you're traveling to remote places carry enough cash so that's one important thing and if you are traveling in all these uh, one of the most important items that you need to always carry around is this wind cheater uh, this is a must uh, whether it's winter whether it's summer because now in many places uh, it's already summer uh, temperature is rising rising but like here in all last night it rained and so it's getting cold if you're traveling to Shillong, if you're traveling to Arunachal or say in Nagaland, you will always need this wind cheater. So carry around this all the time. Inner line permit. Many people doesn't know about uh, ILP or inner line permit. It is an officer travel document issued by concerned state government to allow inward travel of an Indian citizen into a protected area for a limited period. It is uh, obligatory for Indian citizens from outside those states to obtain a permit for entering into the protected area. So if you are entering Arunachal Pradesh, you are required to apply for ILP. You can apply through uh, online 
ilp.com or also obtain it from Delhi, Delhi, Long, Kolkata, etc. You can also get an ILP on arrival. Application fee is about rupees 100 per person only. Also, if you are coming to Mizoram, you will be required to take ILP from for Mizoram or on a license officer. Uh, government of Mizoram from Kolkata, Silchar, Shillong, Kohati, and New Delhi. Additionally, it can also be obtained at uh, on arrival at Longlai uh, Langpui Airport. I saw. Uh, the most recent one to join this ILP, um, like a uh, requirement, is the Manipur State. Uh, you can obtain it from the various counters set up by government. There are four different types of uh, permit that will be required that will be issued um, one is regular permit valid for six months another one is special category permit valid for three years temporary permit which is valid for 15 days and labor permit uh, exemption are for members of the armed force and their family members and central corporations for visiting Nagaland um, one can fill the form for ILP online at ILP nagaland.gov.in one can also obtain from the various counters set up by government Applicant, application fees range from 50 percent 50 per person or like 100 per person for 30 days for foreign tourists no permit is required in manipur however foreigners visiting manipur need to register at the cid office in infa and uh, mizoram for Mizoram also no permit is required, however all foreigners uh, they are required to register themselves at the office of uh, superintendent of police CIDSB in Mizoram who is a designated foreigners registration officer of the state within 24 hours of arrival. Um, if you are a citizen of uh, Afghanistan, China and Pakistan and foreign nationals having their origin in these countries will be required prior approval from the uh, home. In Nagaland, no permit is required. However, they need to register for the register with the foreigners registration officer of the district they are visiting within 24 hours. Uh, for Arunachal, uh, there is need a protected area permit, which we call it PAP or RAP, which is a res re restricted area permit from the Ministry of Home, Government of India. So these are important things that uh, you need to know before coming to notice. That's all for today in Misum. Uh, I hope this will be helpful for someone who is planning to travel to notice around this time. See you all in next Misum. Thank you. Bye.